What's up guys, my name is Irina and welcome back to my channel where I review everything tech. I finally got my hands on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and guys, I'm really excited to test out its camera and in this video I'm gonna compare it against the OnePlus 7 Pro and the iPhone XS Max. So in this video we'll take a look at some daylight photos, night shots, wide-angle shots, selfies, photos taken in challenging light conditions and much much more. And of course I'll test the side-by-side -side video quality and stabilization. First let's take a look at the specs of these three cameras. We have a triple camera on the Note 10 with 12 megapixels on the main lens as well as 12 megapixels on the telephoto lens and 16 megapixels on the ultra-wide lens. When it comes to OnePlus 7 Pro we also get a triple camera that has 48 megapixels on its main lens, 8 megapixels on the telephoto lens and 16 megapixels on the ultra wide angle lens. And when it comes to iPhone XS Max, we get a dual camera with 12 megapixels on its main lens and 12 megapixels on the telephoto lens. But the camera performance is rarely just about pixels. Let's quickly take a look at the apertures of these three cameras. The Note 10 has the advantage of having the dual aperture on its main lens, which would help us take better shots in different light conditions. But we'll see how that translates in the real-world comparison. Also, when it comes to wide-angle lenses, we have a wider 123-degree field of view on the Note 10 and 117-degree on the OnePlus 7 Pro. And let's start with some portrait shots. In these photos, we have three properly exposed backgrounds, which is obviously essential for a nice portrait. And speaking of differences, you can see a slight difference in skin colors. It's slightly pinkish in the shot from the OnePlus 7 Pro, a little paler than it is in real life in the photo from the Note 10 and as it's usually the case it's pretty close to a natural looking skin color in the portrait from the iPhone XS Max. The thing I noticed about the portraits from the Note 10 that I personally like is that my whole body would always be in focus, not just my face. If you look at my dress and my hands you will see that they look a little soft on the shot from the iPhone XS Max, less soft on the photo from the OnePlus 7 Pro and it looks very crisp and vibrant on the portrait from the Note 10, so you could clearly see the print on my dress. As it often happens, we have some flaws in these portraits, especially when it comes to hair. Let's take a look at the next example. I usually never take portraits like this, in this position, but I was very curious to see how these cameras would handle a slightly more challenging light situation, where there is a shadow on my face and at the same time we have a pretty harsh light from behind. Looks like the OnePlus 7 Pro did the best job here, exposing my face pretty well. It looks a little dark to me in the photo from the XS Max and it's something in the middle in the shot from the Note 10. And if you look at my arm and my face, you can see a pretty significant contrast and exposure in the photos from the XS Max and the Note 10 and the OnePlus 7 Pro managed to evenly expose the light in the shot. Next set of portraits were taken in a harsh sunlight. Here my face looks overexposed in the photo from the Note 10. And actually this example reminded me of the portrait mode on the Galaxy S10 e I remember I compared it against the OnePlus 60's camera and I got pretty similar results. But overall we have a recurrent pattern in these three portraits in terms of skin colors. Once again we can see that my dress looks very crisp in the shot from the Note 10 and it looks much softer into other portraits. However, all of these cameras have managed to produce well exposed and beautiful backgrounds. And here is the last example in the portrait mode section. These photos were taken in the shadows. The OnePlus 7 Pro shot looks soft and pretty washed out here. If you look at my dress, you will see that there is something wrong with the print on it. It looks smudged. The Note 10 and the XS Max produced pretty good portraits here and I would say the one from the iPhone XS Max looks the most vibrant. Moving on to some random daylight photos. This time I went to the Coney Islands Luna Park, so I got a lot of vibrant pictures for you guys, so you could see all the differences between these three cameras, especially when it comes to colors. And in this example, the photo from the OnePlus 7 Pro has come out the brightest between these three, but I wouldn't say there is a dramatic difference between them. All of these shots look vibrant, but with slight difference in colors. In the next three photos, the Note 10 produced a very bright and crisp shot. Look at these bushes, we can see all the details in the photo from the Note 10. And here are some more daylight shots for you guys and you can judge them for yourself.
Let's look at these three photos taken in pretty challenging light conditions when the sun shines right into the cameras. I really like how the Note 10 handled this situation. We can clearly see the background as well as the foreground. The shot is very vibrant and detailed, while the photos from the Tennis Max and the OnePlus 7 Pro look a little dim. Next, let's take a look at some wide-angle shots I've taken with the Note 10 and the OnePlus 7 Pro. And it's just a 6 degree difference, guys, but you can see how much more actually fits into the frame with the Note 10, even though the photos were taken from the same exact spot. And I would say the wide-angle photos from the Note 10 look more vibrant, while the OnePlus 7 Pro produces more neutral photos in terms of colors. Next, let's look at some selfies. But first, let's look at the specs of the front-facing cameras of these phones. We have 10 megapixels on the Note 10, 16 megapixels on the OnePlus 7 Pro, and 7 megapixels on the iPhone XS Max. The face retouching option was off on all of these devices. You can see how different the skin tones are in these three photos. And let's also take a look at the portrait selfies. Moving on to times 2 zoom photos, and all of these three shots look pretty crisp. The iPhone XS Max photo looks the least contrasty between these three, and in the next three shots, taken in more challenging light conditions with the sunlight coming from the side, you can see how different these photos look. However, all of these devices produced pretty crisp pictures. And now let's switch gears and see how these cameras compare after the sun goes down. Between these three photos, the shot from the Note 10 looks the most dramatic, the shot from the OnePlus 7 Pro looks slightly darker than the other two, and the iPhone XS Max depicts colors and brightness the closest to how I saw them in real life. However, all of these shots are sharp enough, even though they were taken in the low light conditions. A few more examples for you guys. It was getting darker and, as you can see, the iPhone XS Max produces the brightest looking photo between these three. However, if you look at the sky, it looks pretty noisy and grainy at the corner of the photo. The OnePlus 7 Pro produces the darkest but still beautiful shot and, of course, it's up to your preferences, guys, which photo you like best. Now let's see how the wide-angle cameras work on the Note 10 and the OnePlus 7 Pro in the very low-light conditions. The wide-angle shots look so much darker because of the smaller aperture of the wide-angle lenses. However, the photo from the Note 10 looks brighter than the one from the OnePlus 7 Pro, even though they have the same apertures. Next, let's take a look at some night shots. It was actually so much darker outside than these three photos show us. To give you an idea, it was so dark that I could barely see my own hands. The Note 10 did an amazing job and produced a very sharp photo. And guys, in this shot, I didn't even use the night mode yet. By the way, these photos were taken handheld. And in the next two shots, I used the night mode on the OnePlus 7 Pro and the Note 10. And guys, I think that these shots are not bad at all. I would say this sign looks slightly crisper on the photo from the Note 10, but you can see that the boulder looks much crisper on the shot from the OnePlus 7 Pro. But anyway, in my opinion, these are very good photos, especially taking into account that they were taken in the extremely low light conditions. A few more night mode shots for you guys. Also, let's take a look at some night times to zoom pictures. And finally, let's look at some daylight videos. Let's take a look at the videos shot in the very low light conditions. And now 
let's look at how these cameras compare when it comes to video stabilization. For the first part of this test, all of these cameras are set to shoot at 60 frames per second. And next, look at these videos shot at 30 frames per second. As you can see, the videos shot at 30 frames per second look so much smoother in terms of stabilization. So just keep that in mind when you're making your videos. By the way, if you guys ever have a problem with stabilization on the OnePlus 7 Pro while you're shooting videos at 30 frames per second, try clearing cache of the camera app and it should work okay. Obviously, the Note 10 was the long-awaited newcomer in this test and I could honestly say that I was pretty much impressed with its cameras. If you have already watched my videos, you pretty much know my opinion on the OnePlus 7 Pro's camera. It has an overall solid camera which can both pleasantly surprise you with its impressive output as well as totally disappoint you at times with its lack of consistency. And when it comes to the iPhone XS Max, I think it still has a very competitive and consistent camera setup despite it being a 2018 device. Well, it's been pretty interesting comparison for me and guys, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next one.